Hi guys, Misty with Queen Bee's Vintage. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. First, I wanna start by saying thank you to all of our subscribers. Our channel has grown quite a bit in the last two weeks and we are super excited about that. We're getting very close to 200. So um, we love seeing those numbers climb and we are so glad that people are enjoying our channel. We've received tons of wonderful comments about um, people liking the videos, feeling inspired by them, and that is why we are sharing. So thank you, thank you, thank you. We appreciate each and every one of you who subscribe, watch, like, comment. Um, it's just really super exciting for us. So today I'm going to share my coffee bar with you. I'm really sorry I haven't gotten a video up sooner um, after arriving home from my vacation, I had forgotten that Monday was a vacation for the kids, it was a holiday, and so they didn't have school, so we kind of made it a family day, and my daughter and mom and I kind of had a mother-daughter day, and went to lunch, and did a little shopping. We actually have a haul video we'll share with you, and I'll probably get that up for you guys tomorrow. This is Wednesday, so things have been thrown off um, as far as my regular filming schedule. I have been helping my best friend. She is going through some medical treatments right now, so I have been taking her uh, to those treatments for the last two days, and we've got a couple more to go. So I may only get a couple videos out for you this week, but I know all of you will understand because you've been super supportive and amazing. So thank you for that. But yes, I will have a haul video this week and this is going to be episode number eight in my Elegant Everyday Decor Farmhouse series. So this will be the coffee bar and I'm hoping this week that we will get my kitchen island uh, done and possibly one other video. We do still need to do my bookcases in my living room and my coffee table, so those might have to happen early next week. But I've gotta get the show on the road because I wanna do an organization series with you all, and I have clients that will be delivering furniture to me next week that I will be uh, redoing for them, and I'm hoping to do some videos for you guys as I start to uh, redo and uh, paint those pieces. So I hope you all will look forward to that. I'm looking forward to sharing with you. So we've got to get this Everyday Decor series wrapped up. So we'll see what we can do as far as getting that done uh, between this week and early next week. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the camera off the tripod and I'm gonna share my coffee bar with you. I'm going to apologize in advance. The lighting is not great. We need to have an electrician come out. I have a really great light that I wanna hang from the ceiling in the coffee bar because there was no overhead lighting. And so in the Christmas tour, you may have seen that I had that lamp with the shade in there and that was not ideal at all. And I found a really cute, um, little industrial lamp that has an Edison bulb in one of my haul videos that I shared with you guys right before I went on vacation. And it works in there, but it's casting a really bad glow on the camera. So I'm gonna do the best I can in sharing this with you. There is a touch of Valentine's Day decor in the coffee bar, mixed with a little bit of still that winter hot cocoa bar theme. So let me pull the camera down and we'll get started. All right, so I'm really fortunate that I have this little niche right outside my bedroom door, and it was kind of an awkward, unused space. And what I've done is I've created a coffee bar in here, and I've got lots of my Ray Dunn pieces. So I'm just gonna kind of give you a little bit of, of an overall view, and then we'll kind of go individually over what I've done, see that, that little lamp is casting an awful glow there. So I think we'll start from the bottom and work our way to the top. There's just these two lower cabinets with two drawers. 
And people have asked me in previous videos um, about my knobs, the fleur-de-lis knobs. These were purchased at Hobby Lobby. I think I've had these for about five years now. I actually had to get them at a store that was about two hours from us because we didn't have a Hobby Lobby at the time. Now we do, and I'm not sure, but these knobs may still be available. And then I just got these super cute dish towels or tea towels, if you will, uh, from the Target Bullseye Spot. And these have um, hot chocolate recipes on them. They're, they're really cute. There's kind of some little peppermints and, and snowflakes on them. So I just have two of those. I have one hanging on, on each of the cabinet doors. And then this is a little napkin that I got last year in the Target dollar spot. And it actually has a matching runner. And this coffee canister is not Ray Dunn. This is one of the pieces from Hobby Lobby. I believe it's Certified International, which is the same company as the dishes I have on my dining room table that I shared with you in my tablescape video. And then we have our Verismo, which is the Starbucks espresso machine. And our Keurig. And behind the, the, the two coffee makers, I have this really big platter. And it has a crown on it. But prior to this, we had a mirror that had like two lights that came off each side of it with shades and it was wired into the wall and we took it down and so there's kind of this very unattractive box hanging out of the wall right there and the electrician is going to have to come and cut the wires and cap them. So we've just put the platter there to kind of hide those for, for now. And I've got my cute Ray Dunn pour sitting on the Keurig. And then this cute coffee jar, I think I got this in the, taller, the Target dollar spot, excuse me, uh, maybe last year or the year before. And that has my vanilla coffee powder from the coffee bean in it. It's super good. And then I have a cake stand back there from the Target bullseye spot with my Ray Dunn More Please canister. And we do keep coffee pods in both this one and the coffee one from Hobby Lobby. And then I just have this cute little Love You More sign. I believe this was a 99 cent store purchase from last year. And then here in this wire basket here. This is a Target dollar spot from last year. I just have some really cute napkins that have thanks a latte and I love you more than coffee. So those are in there and then I have these two really cute Ray Dunn plates. One says Amore and the other one says darling. So I just kind of propped those in there. And then behind that, I've got another bag of coffee and some vanilla syrup. And there's a little rum chata in there still from Christmas. And this cute little house, little screen divider is Target dollar spot from this year before Christmas. And then I just have this red currant candle that I've been burning there. And then I have these painted distressed shelves that I did. And on this first one, I have this cute little bucket. And in this bucket are some really cute little toothpicks that have little felt hot cocoa mugs on the top of them. And then I have this 
hot cocoa sign that is from this year, Target Dollar Spot. I think they still actually have those. And I want to say those were, they were either three or five dollars a piece. And then the cute you and me mugs are Target Dollar Spot from last year. And the distressed wooden heart behind all of this is Target Dollar Spot last year, but I think they had those again this year. And on this cute scalloped cake stand, I have my cute little marshmallow mugs. And I just went ahead and left the faux marshmallows and some of those cute little hot cocoa picks in those. And then up here on this second shelf, I have this Life is Brutiful sign. That's a Target dollar spot. And then I have my Ray Dunn coffee and tea canisters with this cute wooden kisses sign. This was a 99 cents uh, store purchase from last year. And then I have just this cute little jar that has peppermint marshmallows in them. Those are really good on the hot cocoa as well as the cinnamon dolce Starbucks coffee. And then I have this cute white pom-pom garland that I just hung from the shelves. And these I got at the 99 cent store at Christmas time. And so then above my this other shelf, I have this cute distressed wooden cream and sugar sign. That's a Hobby Lobby from a couple years ago. And in this chicken wire two-tiered stand, I just put this cute little wooden heart sign. This is a Target dollar spot from last year. And then I have a Ray Dunn drink up. I believe this is just a dog, like a dog dish but I thought it was perfect for the coffee bar and I put some of my cinnamon dolce pods in there. And then I've got another Target Dollar Spot hot cocoa sign and another stack of the You and Me mugs. And this is where it's gonna get a little bit hard to show you because I've got this little lamp I was telling you about, but Below the shelf, I have this Once You Choose Love, Everything is Possible sign. And this was a Dollar Tree sign that I got this year, right after Christmas. And then in this corner of the coffee bar, I have this cute white, it's a little distressed crate. This is a Hobby Lobby purchase that I've had for a few years, but it's got these little shelves in it that you can adjust. So I just have a little white ceramic picture, uh, picture, picture. Sorry guys, I'm really tired and fighting a headache right now, but um, we'll get through this. So this white ceramic, ceramic, oh my gosh, the bloopers are gonna be so bad guys, and I don't think I'm editing them out. So. You see the, the white ceramic pitcher there. And then I have this cute little starter fluid mug. This was um, a piece I got at Walmart around Christmas time. And I just have these little silver plastic spoons from Dollar Tree in there that we use to stir our creamer into our coffee. And then my sweet sugar bowl that's Ray right done. And then down here on the bottom, I have this cute wish birdhouse. And I let, went ahead and left the red and black plaid because I thought it was cute for Valentine's Day. But I'll probably be changing that out with something pastel for spring and Easter. And then my cute little cow is actually a creamer pitcher. And then I just have a little faux plant from Michaels. And I have it in a little peat pot that I painted. And then on the top of the shelf, I have my blessed birdhouse. And this is that cute light, guys. Sorry about the, the bad lighting and the glow, but those sit on top of the crate. 
and then hanging on the wall next to it I have this cute decorative metal embossed tin and then below this metal coffee makes everything possible sign and then a dear friend of mine made me this cute little hanging mason jar and right now I just have some black and white paper straws in that and hanging off of it I have this cute white heart and it's covered with these cute little white foam roses that's a 99 cent store piece that I got this year and so I'm gonna move and try to avoid the light to show you what's on the very top shelf here so on my very top shelf, I have my Ray Dunn Grow watering can and my Ray Dunn flutes. I've got Queen and Queen, Queen and King, Mr. and Mrs. And there's one that says Fun and Party. And then I just have this cute little glass container that's in inside like a wire container. And I don't have anything in that right now. And then up at the top is this fun book page wreath that I made. And don't mind the, the gray paint on the ceiling that needs to be touched up. We must have missed that and I just noticed it. <laughs> Whoops. And then over on this other wall is where I hang my mugs. And so up above here I have this cute coffee sign that is from Hobby Lobby. Coffee is always a good idea. And then what I did is I took the crib springs that were part of my son's crib and we hung it here on the wall. And then I used little S hooks to hang some of my mugs. So I have my one, two, three, four mugs here. And then I tried to do, except with the exception of these numbered mugs at the top, I tried to do all of my long lettered mugs on here. And I just hung this cute sequined heart ornament. Step back a little bit so you guys can get a better view. I actually have to step into my room so you guys can kind of see all of that. And I still can't quite get it all in unless I turn the camera, which is going to be make for a smaller view, but let's try that. So just for this part of the video, that's what that looks like hanging on the wall. my coffee sign okay guys so that will do it for my coffee bar tour I hope you guys enjoyed it again I'm sorry about the lighting thank you for bearing with me hopefully when I do my spring and Easter tour the overhead lighting will be in and it'll make for a much much better video environment um, so thanks for bearing with me through all of this. And like I said, I'm going to try to get another video out to you guys on hopefully Friday, if not Saturday. And we're going to try to tackle my kitchen island. And I also have a quick haul tour for you guys as well. So I hope you'll watch for those. And I did want to say to those of you that may have watched my Cabo highlights video, my mom was cracking me up because she said, what was going on with you in the beginning of the video? She goes, you were talking so low and melancholy. I thought you were going to say like, oh gosh, a shark ate my sister or something. She's so silly, but I was being very quiet because I was trying to be respectful to those around me. I was trying to stay out of the direct sun because that was posing a problem with filming. So I was really close to this um, great little cabana area and there were some people that were already out on the beach with their families so I was just trying to be super respectful she's like yeah it didn't seem like you were excited at all to be there and yes I was very excited to be there bummed that that was our last morning there so if you guys thought I was um, 
a little boring in the beginning of the video. It was just because I was trying to be respectful to those around me. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed. It was a wonderful trip. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to all of our new subscribers. It means the world to me that people are interested in what we are doing here and willing to watch. So thank you so much. And I will be back soon with another video for you guys. Bye-bye.